Hey, this is JR, the Tech Spat in Saigon. Hey, here in my neighborhood, I hear some karaoke outside. That's probably not allowed, but, uh, you know, things happen around here. It's uh, probably a small group, so shouldn't be too big a problem. I think right now, because of the lockdown, we're limited to groups of five. Uh, for a while it was 10, but I think they cut it to five. I'm not positive about that. Today, I uh, went over and got my Honda fix this morning. I took it over and uh, then walked home. It was uh, pretty hot this morning, and when, by the time I got home, I was wet. But um, they called me in, in less than an hour and had the bike fixed. Uh, I went over there, and, and uh, such a surprise. These guys are so nice. Uh, there was no charge for it. They fixed it uh, and didn't charge me a, a thing for it. So I was real happy with that and uh, drove it home. So that was uh, a real nice experience. Later in the day, I met with uh, some of my friends that are uh, helping me out with my visa stuff. I don't really have any news on it. I was meeting with the uh, sponsor company and uh, some of their reps, so that was a good thing too. Uh, later on in the day, I met with Jeff. Uh, the school where Jeff works is closed, but uh, he's finally got some online teaching, which is nice. Uh, that uh, online teaching has been pretty slim because there's so much competition from the teachers that aren't working in the U.S. and they're doing the uh, online teaching for the Chinese and Taiwanese and Japanese students. So it makes it pretty tough uh, to get work if you're getting competition from all those out of work teachers there. A little later in the day, um, I had scheduled an appointment to get my eyes checked and uh, get new uh, glasses, which I did. Uh, all that went well. Uh, well, I thought it all went well, but when we went over there, uh, both pairs of glasses that I ordered were sunglasses. And so I had to uh, make sure that they understood that uh, one pair was supposed to be clear. Uh, it didn't take them long to fix it. They uh, replaced the uh, sunglass lens in about uh, 45 minutes. Uh, they were able to redo it and uh, it was really great. You know, in the U.S., you can spend easily spend three to five hundred dollars on a pair of glasses, and here you can get a, a really nice pair of glasses with designer frames and maybe spend seventy dollars or so. Uh, I like the titanium frames because uh, for photography work and for uh, video and things like that, you're always bumping in and bending them and stuff. So uh, the titanium frames are best. And uh, these cost an average of about $30 a pair. I got sunglasses and clear glasses. So that was, um, you know, the end of my day. Took my walk, did 6.2 kilometers today, and uh, headed home, have dinner with Rhea. That's about it. We um, really don't have any news. I'm, I'm working on uh, getting the uh, video for Boo Boo done, uh, get it posted. Uh, Jellybone's got his video up and I have some interest in people taking him, but I also have some friends that want to take him, so I think he's going to be okay. Uh, Oreo's found a home. Uh, she's going back with her original family, and uh, we're only really worried about Boo Boo right now, and I think uh, she'll be easy to find a home for. She's a sweetheart. Other than that, that's uh, the end of the story. We'll let you know what happens. The visa thing continues. My paperwork's in Hanoi, and um, we're working on it. So uh, I'm not uh, I'm not particularly uh, optimistic, but I'm also not a fatalist either. This is Jr. the Tex Pat in Saigon saying, "I wish everybody a good life, and thank y'all for watching."